Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. We're now on part five of this leopard. I'm using a reference photo from Pixabay. And as I was um, kind of looking at it after the last time that I did it, I decided that I want his chin to be just a little bit um, bigger, longer. So I'm just going to add a little bit of um, this buff titanium down here just to make it a little bit more substantial. And I think that'll be enough to make me happy. Maybe a little bit of, um, let's see, what do I have? This is warm gray. I'm not sure if that's what I want. Um, I guess that's okay. Just a little something to make things stand out a little bit better. Maybe a little bit of um, this cold gray five. Just a few hairs, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to keep going because I still feel like it needs to be a little bit more. So I switched to the black. And I'm just going to put a few hairs down in here, too. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Goodness, that one crept up on me. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, I'll play around with that maybe after I get the, um, the background um, on the back side in. But for now, that's good. So um, I'm going to start over here and work my way up. Again, I, I'm kind of doing this backwards. Um, quite often, if you're right-handed, you should work from the left side to the right side. And, um, but I personally just... Um, I'm just seeing some things I want to add here. A few little super light lines here. I, you know, I want to get to the fun stuff. Um, and for me, the face is always the fun stuff. Um, so I'm lucky to live in a climate that for whatever reason, um, I don't have too much of a problem with smearing. However, on drafting film, because it's so smooth, I do think that once I get um, over here working the body behind, underneath this, <laughs> the body over here, um, I'll probably be sure to, <clears throat> to use a piece of glassine paper to protect um, what I've done. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm, where I'm at. Okay, so the colors I have in my hand right now are um, brown ochre 10%. Um, the buff titanium, the white, I've got um, dark sepia and black, and then for my browns, I've got brown ochre 50%, and sepia, um, I will probably add, I'm sure I will, the um, polychromos burnt umber as well, so I think that's where we'll start. Um, I am going to use white for in here, I think. So let's just go ahead and start there. And I'll work my way up, I think. So we've got a little bit of I don't want to forget that little bit of black right there, too. Okay. 
Oh, and there's a there's a black right there. I missed that one. Probably the lightest part right there. All right, I will switch to buff titanium. Let's do that in here. Although maybe, let me just experiment here real quick. This is the brown ochre 10%. Careful not to drag this um, this black in here. So I think I'll just kind of stop before I touch it because I know if I touch it, I'm going to pull that black into this, and I don't want to do that. We're going to use some darker colors in there anyway, so I think that that will be okay to leave a little bit of a gap there. keep these strokes really short almost like you're just dotting the paper um, that's black all right we're good Okay, I think it's safe to put the black in now. Do I want to do that or do I want to put... Hmm. Um, no, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and use the um, burnt umber.
We can probably put the black in now because we'll use this on the outside edges of the black as well, like we've done before. So I think we're good. So let's put our little black um, keep wanting to call them dots. It's so easy to call a tiger stripe a stripe, but I don't, I guess these are spots, spots, not dots, spots. Probably should wait to keep going here. Yeah, I'll just wait till we get a little bit higher to do that. Okay, we have a little bit here. So I hope if any of you are following along with this, um, with me, you'll come over to Facebook and join my Facebook group and share it on the group because I would love to see it. Um, you know, whether you want to share work in progress pics or, you know, wait till it's finished, whatever makes you happy, but I would love to see it. So. The link to that group is um, in the description box down at the bottom. We all want to see what you're working on. It's still a pretty small group, but that's okay. It's an awesome bunch of people right now. Come on over and join. Okay, so we have the edge. I think that's probably good. Um, and then there's one more here didn't get on, I, I think, right? Yes, one more. Okay. So back to, I'm debating if I want to use any, um, brown ochre. Let me just kind of see what that looks like if I throw some of that in here. I think I will. I think we'll just glaze a little bit of brown ochre in here. Careful not to go over the black because it will smear. Just 
a little bit. I'll do the rest with the um, burnt umber. So let's darken these. Um, let's darken these a little bit. Burnt umber. I almost wonder if that still needs to be darker. None of these blacks look dark enough yet. We have to go back over those. Let's go over those again with um, the luminance black. Uh, hate that sound. Even if it's just kind of the center. Um, and then we'll use the polychromos burnt umber to um, do the edges. That one's probably. Okay, back to the burnt umber polychromos. Oops, I might, I might want to add some, um, yeah, like a really light, warm gray in here. Let's try that. What have we got? Warm gray. One might not be enough. This is warm gray three. Let's try that. Um, careful not to go too much on the black. This is the white again. I think I need to erase these because they uh, I don't want to see them. I want those to be gone. So let me do that.
one of the reasons that I love um, putting the uh, reference sketch on the back of the drafting film as opposed to on a separate piece of paper is that I never have to worry about the position of my paper on top of the um, or underneath the, the, the film. Like, I, I don't ever have to line it up or make sure that I'm, you know, in exactly the right spot because it's always, it's always right there. And because it erases just so very easily, um, it really works best for me. I, I feel, I feel good about doing it that way. All right, I'm just gonna, th just because I'm gonna throw some of these in here. Um, but again, after I put my background on the back, I might come back over the top with some gray ones as well. Okay, this feels pretty good. Let me just, I'm gonna try my um, luminance sepia. Gonna darken some of this a little bit more. And then we need some more um, something in there because it's not really white, white. So, this is the Warm Gray 3 again. It almost needs... You know, I'm so... The, the different, uh, the grays in all of the different brands can all be so, so different. Um, this is raw umber. Let's try this in the, in the luminance. Because I always think of, um, you know, warm gray. I mean, I guess I'm used to the Prisma warm gray, which is kind of a brown, you know, like is a brown. No, that's French gray. I take that back. French gray. And that's kind of what I wanted here, but neither one of the luminance or the polys have something similar. So switch to something else. Raw umber seems to work pretty well. Kind of like the way that looks. I took the edge off the white. All right, let's um, let's just. Do some hairs into the spots. It's amazing that tiny little detail really makes a difference. feels pretty good so let's move I wonder if we should do the ear and then work our way down let's do that okay so yeah let's do that uh, 
do. Okay. So, I kind of want to look at my other ear here real quick. Let's see what I did there. I think that'll work because you can still see the ear in um, the video. So I'll do that. All right. Um, so I think I used like sepia in there, didn't I? I think I did. So I've got. Sepia 50%, somewhere here I have. I keep pulling my French gray, which is, it looks so close. <laughs> it, looks, it looks so close to the sepia. Oh yes, sepia is um, this one. Okay, um, all right, let's do, that's probably too dark. Let's do sepia 50%. And I'm going to do it, a, I don't know if I'm doing it a little different than the last ear. I'm going to treat this like it's hairs. Let's see, this is the edge. I think I didn't draw those. This is... still slice out but this way the the um, strokes are still kind of like hair strokes Probably should have done both ears at the same time. Kind of like how I do both eyes at the same time because they're a pair and that way you don't you don't do one one way and then the next one you forget what you did. But I I should be okay. So if you can hear Cooper in the background. Now he's in the house. Before he was outside. You could probably hear him outside too. Um, it was a little annoying. So we brought him in. <laughs> and now he is very upset and wants to go back outside. But he was probably barking at... The neighbors, um, you know, barking to make noise because he heard them in their yard or, or whatever. And I, um, I do not like to have a barking dog in my backyard while my neighbors are outside. I just think it's, it's not uh, neighborly <laughs> to have them trying to enjoy their outdoors and have a dog barking at them. Okay, so I realized that I did need to come in here because if I don't come in, then there's nothing to slice out. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then let's um, gonna put some black in here. Um, okay, so we'll start there. Let's do some... Uh, brown ochre, ten percent in here. I'm gonna have to add some black. Let's just go ahead and do that now.
This is all black. I think that's what that little mark is supposed to be. Um, let's not put that in yet, though. So let me get this in here. Okay, now we're going to go... Um, let's do brown ochre. We'll do a little bit of this. Mm, you know what? Let's start with... All right, we're going to put some of the 10% in first. We might be able to put some of that on the back. Let's do that all in here. Ooh. No, that's going to work. It's going to work. Um, I think I need to come down in here with the sepia. It's always a little bit hard for me because I have to keep remembering that we're slicing out and it'll all be okay once we use the slice tool. Um, brown ochre, let's do that in here. if you don't put collar down there's nothing to slice out so yeah that makes it a little scary but it'll be okay all right let's do um sepia I feel like I want a different color um, I am going to do brown ochre in here first. And then maybe a little bit more sepia. It's all going to come together. some more brown ochre. I'm a little worried about having a line be a little bit too visible, so I'm going to pull some of this in here before we start slicing. Okay, this there's our big one there's our little one there's this one and this one I think I missed one right here this is black and this is the edge. So this is all going to be sliced out to practically white. So I'm thinking I'm going to use... What do I want to use for that? Gray? No, because we can add that in. Um, but we have to get some pigment down for it to get... Um, well, you know what? Let's just use our, um, maybe we don't slice. Maybe I, this is my white. And I know that it's going to be a little bit weird to start with. 
but I'm gonna do it. White is gonna be too white, but we'll tone it down. We'll tone it down with some other colors. Just add a little bit of it here. Okay, and a little bit even lighter of it here. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a little bit. What do I want? I want the... I want the um, Polychromos Dark Sepia. I feel like I need to just hold the camera while I'm doing this. This is so silly. Okay. Um, let's. Um, I also have to remember that um, even if there's not a ton of pigment to slice away, um, the slice tool still is going to make marks that we'll then be able to fill in um, behind. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. First, I'm going to erase... gone but I was afraid if I did it on top of my paper underneath I would transfer the colored pencil so that's why I stuck it over here all right let's let's see what we can do here um let's you know what I'm not ready yet I want to put a little bit of of titanium I don't know why I want to do it now. Probably after it's sliced out would be okay too. But it needs a little bit of the buff titanium on the edge. I'm like, I'm a little worried about size of the ear for one thing and if I did this right because once I erased that line the whole ear looked funny so I'm just going to put Cooper's very stressed out there's people out front walking their dogs I <laughs> he can hear them because the window's open. Kind of surprised he's not barking. All right, well, okay, let's just, let's do it. Let's just do it, you big chicken. <laughs> add stuff back in which I um, I'm sure I will be doing so okay so this ear this ear is lots of tiny little lines I'm not sure that I did that on the other ear but 
tiny little hairs. Lots of tiny little hairs. The reason I'm using the slice tool to do this, and I didn't do it first with the color pencil, is because... The lines I get with the slice tool are so much skinnier than I can get with the color pencil. And that's kind of the look that I wanted, is that really, really just fine, fine, fine hair. So hopefully that'll work and we can add some uh, color on the back side if we need to. little bit in here. All right, now let's do Let me switch size, go a little bit bigger. Make sure that we do some try and make sure that it, you know, kind of looks the way the other one looks too. So um, I'm going to add a tiny little bit of fluff. What is this? This is um, sepia 50%. I'm just adding that to the edge of the ear. Let's um, keep going. We've got, I wonder if I should use um, my eraser. Here's it. <laughs> when that happens. not in there. Maybe I have it over here. I've got, again, I've got two different projects I'm working on and I, I kind of roll up my pencils. Yep, yep it was. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So I'm going to try instead of the slice tool. We're going to use the mono eraser because we can get um, softer, yeah, softer lines. That's good. Softer, softer is better. We don't need such harsh lines in here. So that's good. Let's do a little bit. Switching to my white pencil again. No, slice tool. Switching to the slice tool. I'm just going to slice out. off a little bit more here some things we've got marks that we don't want on here what is that from like black marks not a big deal really but I don't want it getting in places that we definitely don't want black
a little bit more of these little teeny tiny hairs. And I think then we're going to come in and darken in here. It's funny, the things you hear in the neighborhood when your windows are open <laughs> that make you curious, like, what is that sound? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to take um, my sepia. Or maybe I'll take black. You know what? I'm going to use my Sparrow in black. Um, Polychromos black would work well, too, you guys. Um, don't have to use this one. It's still my favorite black, though. Um, well, I should say one of my favorite blacks. Because, again, it's a warm black. It's not a cool black. Um, there's some areas here that need a little bit of work. Let's try um, some uh, brown ochre. Oh, I guess that's straight brown ochre. Is that what I want? Nope. I think I want... You know what? Let's try um, burnt umber in the polychromos. Because we want, we don't really want these lines to be really white. That's better. fluffy little fluffy hairs in here and then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put some white just in a couple of places. So that just kind of brightened up. I think it did. I think it brightened this up a little bit. Now I'm going to come in with my um, luminance white and go over the top of this too in some places. tool right up in here. That probably wasn't necessary. I might go over that. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. I'd really like Cooper to stop barking, though. Coop! Come here, baby. It's okay. You can leave the neighbors alone. They're not doing any harm. I know, you think you're a big badass and you have to defend the household, but you don't. Um, this is brown ochre 10%. Alright, I feel um, I feel good about that ear. It it matches the other one um, nicely, so they at least look like they're part of the same, <laughs> the same animal. Um, so let's go with a little bit more. Something even darker than that. That'll be all right. Okay, and then let's get the black. Let's see, that's that one. All of this. This gets some black. Where's the magic pencil? Nope, not that one. This one. Burnt Umber Polychromos. I don't know why I think it's a magic pencil. I just do. <laughs> It's like it softens the transition from the black to the other colors just so nicely. I really like it. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we will just finish this little area in here, and then I think we'll be at about an hour and a half. Um, so... Um, brown ochre, 10%. I think I'm going to pretty much use all the way on this whole, this whole thing, I think. So, um, actually, I could probably... 
probably uh, double time through this. Um, or you can double time through it. <laughs> Just speed it up. I don't know. We'll see. I guess it will all depend on um, how long this bit takes me. So you might see me speeding it up and <laughs> you might not. Um, let's, decisions, decisions, um, I want to put a little bit of this brown ochre in here. it seems like the um, luminance pencil smudges the black easier than the polychromos. 
So if we put that in first, we should be pretty safe to do our black. Um, I'll just go ahead and use, um, go back to my polychromos black. That's what I've been using, so I should probably stick with that, I think. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm not sure how much time I have left on the video. guys would not believe, well, maybe you would believe if you do YouTube videos, or maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe it's the Wi-Fi in my area, but an hour and a half video usually takes, like, I don't know, four to six hours to upload. It's crazy. So seems to keeping them at about an hour and a half seems to um, it'd be the best. If I go much longer than that, then they really take forever. It's crazy. I don't know why that is. I always thought I had a decent. Um, You know, internet, decent company. It's a well-known company. I'm in a big city. But um, apparently, I think this is, as, this is as fast a speed as I can get to upload. I think, unless I start paying some ridiculous amount of money. So... Okay, just the way it is. I like to see his face starting to, well, it, it already, you know, it has been starting. I think it really, like, hit me like he looks like a real tiger when I did his um, muzzle and his nose. It's like it all came together. It was, I just love watching them come to life. Um, this, this one, not that it really, really matters because it's not like you're going to be able to look at it and go, that spot doesn't look right. <laughs> As long as it's close, it'll be good enough. Okay. Um really quick before I <laughs> I know I'm totally getting out of order here but I just noticed it and again if I don't sorry I'm getting a piece of paper if I don't fix it while I'm you know like if when I'm noticing it right now 
I'm afraid I will miss it later. But this, these, this spot really got... I either didn't do it dark enough or it really faded out on me. So I'm just going to fix this real quick. think what I need to do is write myself a little note um, before I call it quits because I'm looking now and there's a lot of areas where that um, black has faded so I think that's what we I need to remember to do is um, revisit all the black before I call it done I'll do that um, and make sure that I have enough pigment on there. I don't know what it is about the black. The other colors don't seem to do it as much, but that black just, it just goes away. It's very bizarre. And it only happens until you get enough pigment down and then it's and then it stops. So you just have to always make sure that you've got enough of it down before you call it finished. Okay, it's gonna be time to erase this edge line here pretty soon. The, um, it's the marks where, where they're real fine and light. Not light, but real, that you're not, that I don't get really super dark um, in the beginning because they're dainty. And then all of a sudden they're just gone. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait a minute. All right, I've got some more black to be coming in here. I know I do. So it's just... There's, there's not nearly enough of my dots here. I'm missing a bunch. I'm missing one right here. I hate to have to go over. I don't want to draw. It's like I'm you're t I'm tempted to want to just go, oh, a, you know, a circle. <laughs> but um that would be bad. I've tried I've done that before and you wind up getting these horizontal lines that that don't belong there, you know, these lines from the circle. So you got still kind of have to do them in the all right, um, I think I'm going to put all of the fine ones in after we get this um, darker, you know, all these little teeny tiny ones. We'll do that later. Um, this one, that's this right here. I don't know, I'm starting to get confused now of where my... Where my stuff goes. I know this gets a little fine. I'm 
probably some darker in here too. Let's do, um, I think it's throwing me because it's still so light. So let's start with the uh, burnt umber. some more of that brown ochre. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some more of that brown ochre. Okay, well, let's just hope that I don't... Um, blend it into my... Let get the black blended in too much. I'm going to add some more black right here because I meant to do that earlier and I forgot. And this comes... So, brown ochre, I didn't do enough of it, I have to do some more. with that black. All right, next time when I come up in here, we're going to get this all done before we um, add any black. I thought that I would um, get it dark enough using the burnt umber, but no, it did not. That looks better. Um, now back to the burnt umber. stays nice and light, so I don't want to do anything with that. Um, I think that's... That feels pretty good, and it, it looks um, the same as what I have over here. 
for the most part. Let me erase. I think I've got some lines here that need to be erased. white this is buff titanium they're about the same they look about the same okay I I think it looks pretty good I've got some spots here where the black got away from me um Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to add some more of the real subtle ones. I'm gonna use the, um, uh, the, Karen, uh, the Karen Dash Black for that. Wait, is that black? Yes. Um, we're just gonna add a few of the really little dots. I'm not sure how important it is that they get exit that they're exactly in place. But it definitely needs some. Oh, and I also need to slice in on the back side. Those are further up the ear. You need to stay down here. It's pretty safe to, to, to do circular patterns in the centers of your spots because there aren't any hairs that are um, you know it's just solid it's not it's not like it has to be fluffy okay like I can already see like oh these need to be darker maybe I'll do that off camera um, one more little thing, I think. I think one. Let's just slice into these a little bit. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Wipe off your um, blade um, a little bit more often. I think I need to get better at that. Because it builds up on the blade and then you wind up depositing it in places that you don't necessarily want. Um, burnt ochre. 
umber. Umber, burnt umber. Advanced. There's something, and I'm not sure what it is. I think I just want to make these a little fluffier looking. They're a little too um, harsh. Just kind of letting my eyes roll over everything and see if there's anything that um, stands out to me as needing to be fixed before I sign off for today. Um, again, sometimes just... Um, Unfocusing your eyes a little bit lets you um, look at both pieces side by side and see the differences. If anything really stands out as really bad. Nothing's really bad. See a few things that it's like, hmm, I could make that bigger, or oh, I need a little. I think for the most part, it's pretty good. There's some things up in here that I feel like are just wrong, and I can't quite. Maybe I just need to add some more. Not worry about where it is. That could be the problem that there's just not enough of the spots up here and it looks empty. Does that make sense? Not really. I think it'll help once I get these in. It's still, you know, it's missing that darkness up here, I think is part of the problem, but we will get into that on the next one. We'll probably tackle all of the top of his head on the next one, and then we'll start on the body, but let me pull him out a little bit. I'm really happy with how he's turning out. Um, I might come in and darken this area up a little bit. That looks like it's... Um, Kind of lightened up a little bit. I don't have to do that on camera though, so I will probably do that off camera with my dark sepia, I think. Yeah, it just needs a little, um, a little fluffing right here. It needs a little bit more darkening and I don't know again I don't know if that's because I left it too light or if it's faded out over the last couple of days could be either one so 
So I will do that. It's, you know, same thing that I did before, just, just adding a little bit more depth. I don't have to do that on camera though. So, all right, um, that's it for today. Yep. All right, until I see you guys next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Love you all. Thanks for being here. Bye.